Hello everybody, Crit Crab here, and this is the tale of the ultimate railroading DM. If you thought any other DMs we've covered here on the channel are railroad obsessed, you haven't seen anything yet. We're talking fat controller level railroading. So without further ado... First thing to know is I used to game at my university's gaming club, and for a couple years the club was my only source of gaming. I've gamed before the gamers club, but I'd almost exclusively played tactical, chunky salsa games with a group of family friends, all of whom were former or active military or police in some capacity. This meant that I was used to playing games where the goal was to minimize combat time, circumvent confrontation with tactics, get the upper hand, yada yada. And so after a year of not being in a game, I heard one of the Gamers Club's GMs was starting a Shadowrun game, and I promptly got hyped. And what follows is the saddest case of GM railroading I've ever seen, both in the sense of it being invasive and egregious, and being obvious and poorly done. To know the important people, Tim is the railroading DM, Hawkeye is our party's sniper, Butch is our party's face, and me is, well, me. The GM, Tim, heard I was into tactical and sci-fi games. It was no secret I'd been trying to get a rogue trader or only war game started for a while now, and he said that he wanted one more player for his Shadowrun game. I'd never played Shadowrun before, so one of the other players helped me build a character. I ended up playing a sort of Slavic version of Vinny from the animated Atlantis movie. Capable, personable, but goofy and unorthodox. The game starts with a simple mission. Go get pizza and booze from the convenience store. This was a lot of our first game, so this little quest was fun. We show up, banter, and get to know each other. I go straight to the alcohol and start loading up on vodka. Butch makes some snide remarks about stereotypes, and Hawkeye spits back, says the ex-cop buying three dozen donuts, and we all have fun. Good so far. We confirm we all have what we want, and we leave. And the GM face palms. We didn't know what we did wrong. Well, Tim says through gritted teeth, you went too fast. We were confused. You see, this GM had a reputation we didn't know about. When he had an idea of how something should go, he made sure it went that way. He would say, you're ruining my game if someone did something out of order for him. He even ran a game after this where he apparently made a main party himself and required the players to watch how cool they were, but that's a tale for another time. Apparently, he expected us to either rob the convenience store or otherwise sneak out with the food because herp derp shadow runners do illegal things, right? But no, we paid and we left. He wanted us to fight someone in the store. He wanted an encounter and spent 20 minutes or so trying to convince us to do it over, but make a fight this time. We refused. We were new to Shadowrun, but not to gaming, and he was being unreasonable. He begrudgingly let us get to our hideout. Fast forward through quite a bit of fun characterization on the part of my teammates, where we improve banter about our other jobs, inserting our respective skill sets to make sure we were all in the loop on what our tactics should be, and we quickly find ourselves with a new job. A mob boss's spy was caught by a rival gang. He was hiding out in their territory somewhere, and we needed to provide an exfil. Cool. We got his location from his boss and went to the rival gang's territory, a port complete with warehouses, pub, those massive loading cranes, and a veritable platoon of bikers going from building to building looking for our mark. We make a plan. Hawkeye gets up with his rifle atop one of the cranes. Butch approaches the gang and flashes his expired police badge to get their attention and slow them down. And when he does, I drive past them, at the stated speed of 30 miles per hour as not to alert them. In my beat-up van, load the HPV on board, and we drive off. Hawkeye's job is to shoot only, and I mean only, if things go bad before we get out of there. This is to avoid a gang war between the mob and the bikers. Plan goes into action. Butch walks up to the group and flashes his badge and says, Hey fellas, mind if I ask you a few, but that's as far as he got. Tim cuts him off as the biker leader and shouts, It's a cop! Kill him! And we ask why they would do that. He says, Duh, they think he's a cop. And then we say, Duh, 
they probably say that he's got nothing on them. You think they'd literally escalate from asking questions to shooting a cop when they're trying to find but da 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 The argument goes on for an hour, with everyone but the GM agreeing it makes no sense to escalate like that. He eventually caves and says, fine. Butch doesn't die yet, and they talk. That means I start driving, and I let the GM know that. He says, okay, and the characters talk, and talk, and talk. Tim beats around the bush and starts to do this weird political venting about police officers and corruption and gets really cringy with it. And I keep trying to confirm with him how far it is to the HVP. He says, like 100 meters, I say great. Two hours of them having this back and forth chat, which looks like it's only being kept going by the GM trying to convince Butch to start shooting them by insulting him or something. And I eventually kind of have to draw the line. I move my character to the HVP and tell him, Okay, man, this chat's been going on two hours now. I'm driving 30 miles an hour and the guy's right around the corner. There's no way I haven't gotten to him by now. The Tom Feekery that follows was memorable. Tim, what? No, you didn't start driving yet. Me, yes I did. You said I could. Tim, no, if you get the guy now, how's there going to be a fight? Don't you even want to learn the system? Me, Dude, circumventing combat by tactics is a good thing. Tim, no, this is my game, my rules. If you bypass the combat, the game ends because the rest of it is about the gang war you start. Yes, he actually... ...like you did at the convenience store. Hawkeye, you shoot and the fight begins. Hawkeye, no, I didn't. That wasn't the plan. Tim, Hawkeye shoots, combat starts. The rest of the fight wasn't combat. Butch ran away as he should have. Hawkeye left via the harbor and I drove away and Tim threw a hissy fit. Closing up the shadow run book and leaving because we didn't stay and fight 20 plus angry bikers in the name of Mr. Story. We didn't need to avoid coming back because he always made sure everyone knew he was bored of shadow run now and wanted to start a new game. One based on the anime fairy tale. And last I heard, it became a story that belongs on r slash neckbeard things. I never returned, but that doesn't mean I won't have more stories about Tim secondhand. Well guys, that was absolutely unnecessary. The whole thing operated on the assumption that RPGs are not about having fun at all. It's about the long, grueling process of dragging your friends through your amateur screenplay. This is the number one time where I ask these DMs. Why not write a book? You already have the perfect story. Why not populate it with the perfect characters? Ones that never step out of line or do anything that you didn't already completely anticipate. On that note, sorry for being late with the video. I will continue to work harder for more consistent uploads. One story every three days. Anyways, if you liked this video, please do leave a like. And if you want to see more of this kind of content and you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Till next time.